Bahamas Athletics on location at the new Thomas and Robinson Stadium just a few days, a day and a half ish away from the uh, opening ceremony. We interviewed Fred Ferguson to talk about what to expect showtime. We're going to talk with Burton Wallace now, who's pretty much the mastermind with all that you see here around the, studio, the stadium. And uh, good afternoon to you, Burton. Hey, good afternoon, Kermit. Pleasure to be here. Now, all I saw was two, what appeared to be some 40, 50 foot container, or I think it was three of them that came here. You looked a little rough, you looked a little dirty, you needed a bath, you were sweating, you were working hard. Uh, now here we are, you got a clean shirt, clean pants on. What has happened over the past three days now? What a difference a day makes, eh? Hey, hey, really? Um, yeah, the stadium really to satisfy with the needs of sound is a mammoth task. And it took a quite a bit of inventory, pretty much all of our inventory, to uh, get the stadium to where it needed to be to satisfy a concert. Um, but everyone coming in now, wherever you're seated in the stadium, will really be able to enjoy and be a part of the, everyone on stage. Even though it's four or five hundred feet away, you'll feel like you're right there on the stage enjoying the music. Now, I did a pan of the stadium and starting from the eastern, from the eastern northern side, swinging all the way around, I counted a total of eight stack of monitors. Then also that don't take away from stage. Talk about and uh, I guess you could uh, for some in layman's term that's is almost like a surround sound, omnidirectional sound. Um, talk about talk talk about um, what goes into that. Um, anyone who's familiar with a home sound system with what they call a five to one Dolby digital type of system where you have sound coming from five points. Uh, this basically is about 10 points of sound that had to go in here. It took a lot of work figuring out the math in terms of the throw of the sound to get the reflections to zero out. If you stand in the center of the field and that's where the sound is actually centered, you'll hear no reflections in the sound. But anyone that knows about sound knows as soon as you throw sound around, it, it reflects. And it was it's difficult, the science behind it is a little difficult to figure out. The further you go away, there's a delay in the sound. Sound travels at a little over a thousand feet a second. And mathematically now you have to figure out how to balance between the first speaker and the last speaker, which might be a little over a thousand feet away, to get that person in between to hear that sound the same time. So there's a little bit of math and science that went into it, quite a bit actually, but we have some good we have a good technical team with a lot of know-how and we have the sound tweaked out and it's just right so whether you're to the east or the west on stage or on the field the sound is even all around now you've got the stage set up and the um where the this would be the um pole vault and the shot put um, spot so this would be on the northern end of the stadium now talk about why why be locate why you're located here well, there was quite a bit of discussion in terms of the best point to place the stage so it would everyone attending would be able to enjoy the event. Uh, the first thought was center field, which meant though the stage would be to uh, at least one half of the stadium's back. Everyone would be looking at someone's back. So we thought about, uh, you know what? If we place it to this end, everyone will have line of sight. The persons participating in the ceremony, the speaking, who have the speaking engagements and parts, they'll be able to directly address the athletes, who is, I guess, by intent, that's who they would really be addressing. So now you have a, a nice symmetrical type of setup where everyone has lines of sight, everyone can see the protocol of the event can be followed. The persons on the stage can probably address the athletes and vice versa. All right. Now, um, would you have any hand also in terms of the uh, video? That's all ZNS. We gave some assistance to ZNS. Uh, they predominantly brought in everything that they needed. There was a few small niche items, if you want to call it that, that uh, we assisted with and. You know, we're all in the same industry, so we we hold each other's hands like all the time. People. Yes. All right. All right, one final question for you. Um, 
when I look around you now, because I, because my background is recording and mixing music, and if you didn't know that I'm a graduate of Full Sail, um, but just just so that so that the audience can know, compare this to any setup else around the world. Where does it where does this fit in the mix? Right now, we are really on par with any other first class stadium anywhere in the world. Um, the audio visual setup, the sound, the uh, equipment for the sporting facility, this has, we've graduated. The Bahamas has graduated. So if, any, so if there's someone out there who have never ever experienced a full concert system, they, they're in for a shock. Uh, you're going to get throttled out here. <laughs> um, you, like I said, you're not going to just be able to hear the music. You're going to feel it. It's Think about it as uh, John Canoe in the stadium. When the bass and the drums and everything goes past you, you don't just enjoy the music. You feel it. All right. How excited are you about seeing the Carifta Championship? I'm, I'm really excited, Kermit. You know, uh, this, even for us, carries a little bit of firsts um, nothing I like more than embracing a new challenge and even this was a challenge but we've stepped up to the plate and you know we've delivered we've tested the system everything works uh, we're gonna go through all the rehearsals iron out whatever kinks might be left uh, so that we can ensure everyone attending on event day will have a first class uh, production to enjoy um, you're going to get your money's worth All right. thank you man thank you Kermit Bahamas Athletics Road to Carifta 2013 coverage is brought to you by Sky Bahamas R.E.J. Sands the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism the Bahamas Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture Jazz Tell and Sage Eden Media Group we invite you to continue to follow Bahamas Athletics for all of your Carifta updates, results, and stories. Bahamas Athletics, Fast Track News, number one in the field.